The group we're talking about travels the country. They hold signs up like this one in Tulsa, saying they're collecting money to cover the cost of a funeral for a child who died in a car accident. We found that they collected, I don't know how long they were doing it for, um, before we were up there to talk to them, but they collected around $250, $300 already. That's nearly identical to the ones that we've seen spotted in the tri-state over the past few days. Defense attorney Joe Surrey tells me he thinks there is a crime taking place if these panhandlers are lying about collecting money for a funeral. Surrey says this could fall under the charge of theft by deception. So I think the argument could certainly be made that if an individual is soliciting donations, say for a funeral for a child, when that either child never existed or the funeral doesn't exist or it happened somewhere else, but that person's just keeping the money to enrich themselves, could be considered theft by deception. Surrey says it's similar to other situations where people are collecting money in the name of a cause or an organization. I kind of liken it to the individual standing outside of Kroger in the winter raising money for the Salvation Army when in fact they're not part of the Salvation Army and they're keeping that money for themselves. Thanks for checking out the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links and tap subscribe to get notified anytime we post.